Good afternoon and welcome back to Join the Dots. Now this is the health video that I promised you in an earlier show. Please watch it, please, and stay with me because I'm going to give you facts. That's all I give you is facts. I find the facts wherever they are, wherever they're hidden, and I pass them on to you in a way that you can make a rational decision or you can start a thought process that leads you to a rational decision. Okay. This is entitled Spike and Disease. And this is from the brilliant Dr. John Campbell, who has over three and a quarter million subscribers on YouTube. I found John in the early days when he was a retired nurse practitioner and he was telling people to take the vaccine, which I didn't agree with at the time. And it turned out that although he was a massive health advocate and a be he, he, he has places that he helps in Africa, he loves people, he helps people all his life. And then he was vaccine injured. And then he did the research that he hadn't bothered to do before. This happened to Dr Malhotra, whose father died. This happened to Peter McCullough. This happened to Robert Malone. They were all vaccine injured and therefore decided to do immense research, which they should have done day one, but we're all busy. This is the most important health video that you will ever see. I promise you. Can you face the truth? This is the question. Can you face the truth? Do you want to face the truth? If you do, stay with me. OK, so when you see this video, which is presented by John, it's almost the whole of his show. So don't worry about introductions, adverts and anything like that. No, 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 no. You'll get the video. You'll get the 10 minute video, which will show you so much of what we now know, which we didn't know at the beginning and has been hidden from us ever since they found out just the facts. OK, now I picked on five. I've said this a few times in previous videos. I found five doctors in the early days who I trusted totally because there was no conflict of interest in anything they said. The whole of the world is now a conflict of interest. Corporate fascism. I've said it so many times. Mega corporations have taken over this world now. They lobby governments. They force governments to make decisions. They really do. And we're seeing it in England at the moment, aren't we, with the tech bullies coming in and persuading England about how much they're going to invest. If, 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 if. Yes, it's all if. And it all benefits them, not the people. <sighs> Don't get me started. So when I, found, when I first found five doctors that I really trusted, Dr. Robert Malone, Dr. Peter McCullough, Dr. Pierre Corey, Dr. Ryan Cole and Professor Guy van der Bosch from Belgium, who had worked at the WHO, who had worked at Gavi, Bill Gates's vaccine factory. OK, so Ryan Cole and Robert Malone are featured in the introduction. I thought, wow, this is great. I've got I, I know this is going to be genuine now. Five minutes, 50. Fauci said, and it's, it's on the video. All I needed was the sequence. And then I could plug it into mRNA. Our laptop warriors could fiddle around. We don't need to do any research. Don't need to do any clinical trials. Don't need to do anything. We've got the answer. No, no, you haven't. And anyway, where did you get the sequence from? China. Where did the virus come from? China. Who didn't take any mRNA vaccines? China and Russia. They both refused to use the mRNA system. They both used the old system. Sputnik was the Russian version and there was Sinopharm and another one came from the, came from the Chinese. OK, they didn't use mRNA. Yet they sent the sequencing for Fauci to use for everyone in the West. Can you spot the issue with that potential issue? Can you spot it? It's just joining two dots there. Anyway, what an opportunity for China. When it comes to crimes, when you watch a TV programme, what do they say? You need means, motive and opportunity. Oh, hello, we got all three. So. As I say, China and Russia never used the mRNA vaccines. They were outlawed. India didn't use them for a different reason. India didn't use them because Pfizer refused to relax the indemnity and said, we want an indemnity. And India said, you're not having an indemnity for an injection you're going to put into 1.3 million Indians. Thank you very much. 1.3 billion Indians. 
you're not going to have it. We'll use ivermectin and other things instead, which they did, and they had no worse results. And maybe they haven't got the legacy results that the West is going to see. So in, after six minutes, Peter McCullough comes in on board and he says, when people received the COVID C-19 mRNA vax, it was the first, listen to this, it was the first time in history that the human body had received lipid nanoparticles, these little, these little sort of pods that they put into your body that transport the spike protein into your cells. A total experiment. Never been used before, lipid nanoparticles. Used this time on the back of a sequencing sent from China. Really? Eight to 11 minutes, the method of action is described. How your body then attacks its own cells. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because your cells are corrupted with spike protein and then your immune system attacks it. The one of the first things that absolutely made me say I'm never going to take one of these vaccines, mRNA, was the fact they said, do not aspirate. In other words, when you inject a person in their deltoid muscle where you were told that vaccine would stay in your deltoid muscle, they didn't aspirate. They didn't put the needle in, draw back for just a second and see whether they've hit a vein. OK, and normally they'll see a bit of blood. They say, OK, I need to put it in somewhere else. Sorry, I've hit a vein because they don't want it going all around the body, do they? They want it in the muscle. But they didn't aspirate. And you know what Pfizer specifically said to everyone? Do not aspirate. Do you know why? Because it saves about five seconds per shot. Corporate fascism in health. What do you say? So as I say, this, to me, this was the most obvious discrepancy with everything they said. If you don't aspirate, how can you say it stays in the deltoid muscle? It's impossible because you haven't checked to see whether you hit a vein. And you were told the doctors, the clinicians, the people at these Boots and other pharmacies, Walmart, etc. were told you do not aspirate. Why? Just ask those three letters. Why? No one did. So, what have we got now? So the lipid nanoparticles could go anywhere in the body, couldn't they? They could be transported by your venal system all around your body. Okay? And that's what they did. So the, the site with the full video, the full video, you're going to see a 10 minute clip of the video on John's YouTube presentation, but the full video is within the description. Go on to it and wake yourself up like you've never been woken before. Because there are ways of countering this, but not if you don't know you've had it. It's so simple, isn't it? There are ways of countering this. Five or six of my clients in the early days listened to me and took what was called the spike protein detox protocol. Look it up on Google, spike protein detox protocol. Now, that was invented or put together by Peter McCullough and a group of scientists. And in the end, they've come up now with a tablet, evidently, which puts all the ingredients together. It used to be you could buy four or five ingredients on Amazon, have them delivered and off you go. Now it's in a tablet form. Wow, how difficult is that? So, why would you not take that tablet if you've had the spike protein? Now, I'm not going to give you all the gory details at this point, okay? You can start to look them up if you want. But there are Italian studies, there are Japanese studies. Notice these are not American or mainline EU. They will not give you the truth. Italian studies, Japanese studies are showing some very, very nasty, serious side effects. And that's both in longevity of, of your life, the quality of your life, and also whether you can reproduce. And these numbers are coming out because obviously it's five years later now. The data is available. OK. So why would you not take that tablet? And why would you not try and detox from the spike protein? 
This is a purely health video. It's purely designed to help you. Again, it's the same principle as join the dots, isn't it? That's what I'm doing. I've watched this for five years. I've been fascinated by how people have been lied to, just like Unite 110,000. Safe and effective. It was never safe. They couldn't test it for that. It was never effective. What does a vaccine do? Think back to your young, your young days or your children's young days. The MMR vaccine, what does it do? One, it inoculates. You can't catch it. Two, you can't spread it. Ding dong. That's the pure definition of a vaccine until 2021. And then they changed it. Why? Because their vaccine didn't meet those two basic criteria. It didn't meet it. It wasn't safe and effective, as my namesake, Jazz, um, what was her name now? Something small, I can't remember her first name now. She presented at the EU, she was a Pfizer vice president, and she said, we never tested for transmission. Never tested for transmission. So that part's gone. And then you know, and I think everyone on the planet now knows, someone who has caught COVID post-vaccination. So it didn't stop me catching it. Didn't inoculate. So it didn't inoculate. It didn't prevent spread. Those are the two core definitions of a vaccine. Now how have they redefined it? Oh, it might ease symptoms. Really? So does an anodine or an aspirin. That's not what we were dealing with here, was it? It was meant to be a safe and effective vaccine. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please watch the short video that John presents. Go on to John's site for an awful lot more information. Truth. Truth. Okay? Go on there for a lot more truth. But go into the description of this video that I'll link here. Okay? I'll link it at the end of this presentation. Go on to the description, please, and watch the whole video. And then if you've got questions, fire them in. I'll send them to John. Or send them to John direct, up to you. Or send them to me, I'll send them to John. He's very helpful. These people are out to try and right a wrong. These five brilliant doctors that I found originally, and then added to by John Campbell, Asim Malhotra, and a group of others now. And there's a hearings going on in Congress at the moment, with Jim Jordan leading it. Massive hearings. And all you're hearing on the other side is big pharma scripts, not prescription scripts, but scripts, verbal scripts for Democrat senators to argue that these vaccines are safe and effective. No, they're not. Thank you very much.